I'm a bad boy. But you have to be to survive on the streets. To live in the gutter, a lad has to learn to cut corners. And on occasion, cut other people's purse strings. These days, the law only serves the rich. So I help myself. Ah, my friend, you're awake at last. How are you feeling? My name is Joram. I'm one of the healers here. As to how you got here, well, it's an odd tale. Three days ago, while I was searching for some herbs on the edge of the forest, a small white cat drew my attention. I mean, it actually seemed to want me to go with it. I followed it cautiously and literally stumbled over your unconscious body. I immediately brought you back here. It was lucky for you that cat was watching out for your interests a little longer, and you'd have been food for the cats. You're welcome. And don't be glum, whatever your problems are. If I hadn't found you when I did, with the help of good fortune and a cat, you'd be stone dead by now. We healers have a saying, as long as you've breath, you've reason to be happy. You're in my house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well... Our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone, how should I put it, well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. Well, that's good of you, my friend. And I don't want to sound rude, but we are, after all, professional healers. If we can't help him, I doubt a simple adventurer could do better. And then again, so far all our efforts of curing him have failed, and the man is in constant mental pain. Maybe strange illnesses must be cured by strange... Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. His house is next to the old well. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. We... Oh, you're very welcome. You can always repay me later, if you feel in my debt. Perhaps you should pay George a visit. He has a small shop and could provide you with some basic gear for a reasonable price. But I'm sure an adventurer like yourself will find ways of making enough money, even here in poor Alaroth. He lives in the southeast of the village, near the gate. Mardanius, my poor old friend. What are you doing outside? What? Oh, 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 it's you, Lanilor. I, I was... Oh, he will come. The end is upon us. Shilloy, you're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. 
but Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must um, behave. Oh. What did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. I can't use that. I'm not able to use that. Sorry, I can't use that. Mortanius, my friend, did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look, here they come. Oh, be gone, foul creatures. Oh, dear me. Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction. What? Oh, oh. You! Oh. Thelion Hashnitar, the Lord of Decay! Be gone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor. Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion. Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! I can't use that. The door is locked. Sorry, I can't use that.
I'm not able to use that. <laughs> 